do you want to make a video like this? Or this? Then all you need is a GN Crane Plus or Crane 2, a camera, a wide angle lens, an ND filter, and a smartphone. The first thing to do is connect and balance your camera on the crane and then you're going to want to dial in your exposure to 0.5 second shutter speed and this will give you that super smooth motion blur which is really important for a good hyperlapse. Set your gimbal to 3 axis lock mode, then you need to line up and frame your shot very carefully. Then you just need to go into the GN Play app, select movie mode and time lapse and then set your time interval to 1 second your duration from anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes and then save form as photo and then once you're ready you just click start and you start walking then it's very important to take small steps while keeping the gimbal nice and steady and making sure that you are moving at a consistent speed while walking then if you did everything correctly after compiling all the photos into a video then stabilizing it in After Effects Warp Stabilizer end up with something like this. If you want multiple degrees of movement in your hyperlapse, then just choose the moving time lapse option in the app. Then select your starting point and then choose where you want your camera to point once the hyperlapse is finished. This can be tilting, rolling or panning or all three if you want. Then choose your settings just like before. And then once you click start your camera will move to that initial waypoint and then it'll slowly move to that final waypoint that you set in the app. And then from there you just need to walk in that smooth, consistent speed. And then hopefully you'll end up with something like this. If you want to get even more creative, you can put your crane on the GN monopod and then get an aerial-like hyperlapse. Here's a few more hyperlapses I shot with the Crane 2 and the Crane Plus to get you inspired to go and shoot some of your own. I've also added a more detailed list of instructions in the description of this video, as well as all the equipment I used to shoot it.